We start off with the biggest story coming out of South Asia. The security situation in Afghanistan is worsening. Taliban terrorists have been ramping up violent attacks as the American troop withdrawal nears its end. And while the fight between the Afghan forces and the Taliban rages on, the Afghan people are bearing the brunt. The United Nations assistance mission in Afghanistan has said that in the last 24 hours, at least 40 civilians have been killed and at least 118 have been injured in the besieged city of Lashkargah. Heavy fighting is underway between the Afghan forces and the Taliban terrorists in the southern province of Helmand amid fears that its capital, Lashkargah, could fall into the Taliban's hands. Hundreds have fled the region as the Taliban continues with its offensive in Helmand, this despite persistent airstrikes from the U.S. and the Afghan forces. Regional reports suggesting that the Taliban took control of a major television broadcast station in Lashkargah. Not just that, all media broadcasts have been halted in the southern province as clashes intensify in the region. What you are about to see on your screen is the current situation in Afghanistan. Several areas under Taliban control, while several other Afghan cities giving an intense pushback to the Taliban advances. Keep in mind here that Lashkargah is a crucial region for Kabul. It is one of the three provincial capitals currently under siege. If it falls into the terror group's hands, it will be the first provincial capital won by the Taliban in the last five years and undeniably a big blow to the Ashraf Ghani government. It was after the troop withdrawal was announced that the Taliban went on the deadly rampage for power and the Afghan president Ashraf Ghani has conveyed the sentiment clearly. Ghani said that he had warned Washington that the withdrawal would have consequences and that the reason for Afghanistan's current situation is that the decision was taken quote-unquote abruptly. The U.S., on the other hand, has said that it is solely the Taliban which is responsible for attacking the Afghans and that their actions on the ground do not match their leadership's words at the peace negotiations. Well, there's one party that is, uh, in most cases, uh, responsible for the uh, outrageous and atrocious acts of violence. Uh, that have been perpetrated uh, against the Afghan people, and uh, that's the Taliban. Uh, of course, uh, other um, terrorist groups, ISIS-K, uh, also active, um, but uh, we have seen uh, an increase in these ongoing Taliban attacks. In fact, the U.S. and the U.K. embassies in Kabul say that the Taliban terrorists may have committed war crimes in southern Afghanistan. They said that in Spinbolta, Kandahar, the Taliban massacred dozens of civilians in revenge killings. These murders could constitute war crimes. They must be investigated and those Taliban terrorists or commanders responsible must be held accountable. And our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik getting you this report from Kabul. Take a look. Fighting seems to continue in Afghanistan with three major cities which are being hit, uh, which are under the Taliban offensive. And the Afghan forces are trying to push the Taliban back. Uh, now, these three cities include the Kandahar city, which is the provincial capital of Kandahar, the Herat city, which is the provincial capital of Herat, and the city of Lashkargah, which is the provincial capital of uh, uh, Helmand as well. Uh, in Helmand, particularly in Lashkargah, uh, in the past three days, at least four TV stations have closed their operations. Uh, 14 radio stations have also closed their operations. Uh, the Taliban seem to be in control, except for one district of Lashkargah. There are reports that, except the, for that one particular district one, which also houses the police headquarters, the governor house, the NDS headquarters. Uh, uh, the rest is under Taliban control. There are air strikes which we saw. The Taliban have been putting out images where allegedly a university was bombed by air strikes, by what they claim was a government air strike. Uh, in Herat, we saw air strikes which led to Taliban being pushed back, but there is no independent confirmation as yet. Government has said that at least 300 plus Taliban fighters who were killed in the past 24 hours, a claim that has been denied by the Afghan Taliban themselves. Anas Malik in Kabul, Afghanistan, for Vion, World is One.
We on now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.